And we have Tilde, one of the best Falcos uh, over here in Tri State. And uh, very excited to see him back here, honestly. Oh, yeah. It's been, uh, it's been a few months since he's been over as, you know. So, Villager, not a character I feel like we see on stream very often. And Tilda right now looking to make sure that we don't see him on screen at all. So, of course, we are likely going to be seeing some uh, pocket in this matchup. But I really feel like it's not its not going to be quite defining for uh, for Pokeglam to, yeah, no. to get those lasers. Meanwhile, uh, Tilde having... Uh, Falco's frame one reflector, I feel like it's going to be quite huge in this matchup. So is that back Just air. like that down air into back air combo like being I was similarly huge. Uh, spe also speaking of huge, Falco up tilt. That move is ginormous. It's huge. It's, a, it's great for common starters into that, that up air and that back air we were talking about earlier. And also, it's just a really pretty animation. <laughs> Okay, great spacing there by Pokey Lamb. I'm just trying to find any sort of opening of his own right now. Nice use of the neutral air, but still just not finding anything other than stray hits. Meanwhile, Tilde is taking all of his uh, all of his uh, confirms to the bank. Man, Tilde absolutely grinds his character as much as he can. He's uh, very talented at actually getting a lot of these down air into back air combos that he's you know really good at, at getting. And that reflector is definitely going to be super useful against that tree because, oh, that tree is scary. It's racked up. It's, it's going to kill. I actually really like uh, Pokelam's setup right there of uh, putting the bowling ball into the tree to get the hit lag to extend that the hitbox, but Tilde not falling for it and uh, finding Pokelam's second stock right now. Tilde's still sitting pretty on his first. Looking for another... Really? Okay, yeah. Very surprised with that option to go... Trying to go across the stage uh, with Firebird or... Is it called Firebird? I hope it's called Firebird. I think so. Or it's Fire Falco, I don't know. But Sorry, it's one of those. But uh, a very interesting choice. I didn't think he was going to make it either. Honestly... Til Tilde had me gaslit into thinking that that would work. Tilde I think I think it's, it's, like, it's like if he does it, it's fine. Yeah, no. Tilde's made me a believer of the Falco recovery <laughs> more more than a couple times. And just like that, Tilde's angles are so good. Not getting uh -oh. hit by the bowling ball. He's gonna go high again. Yep. But he keeps he saying that those those pummels. Yeah, Ooh. finally getting that ledge trap that Pokemon was looking for and now today and this looks like is selling a completely even game. Yeah, I think Tilde tried to go low, maybe tried to set himself up for a tech scenario, recognizing that the loop he was in there wasn't much of an escape. Yeah, because had recover high, pummel. Low, bowling ball. It was completely scary. Side B get you, you get you get uh like special, like Ooh, we're doing go. wonders for gyroid right now, and that uh, down air, not gonna take it. I thought it was. Why does the he do this to me? Liar. The kill screen's a gaslighter. This, all right. Oh! Okay. I'm about to say, there's was, no way. He was at like 40. There was no way. Uh, I, I know blow balls are heavy, but bro, there's no way. This game is straight up lying today. This game is a gas. Yo, gaslighting game. Oh, with the triple turnip, though. Please, Tilde's face. <laughs> making me lose it. Getting, getting game one. I want to see Tilde's reaction to bowling ball at 40%. Like, I think that'd be the funniest thing in the world. I, I would have been so mad if that actually killed. No, me too. I would I have walked out. But I'm going home, actually. And my ride's here. <laughs> Sorry, my lift's here. Uh... Right? Oh, this was, this was... That was hopeful. It was. Wait, don't start yet, guys. Yes, yeah, take a drink of water so I can see this. Oh, the vortex. Yeah, I think Tilde, Tilde went in, uh, like, closer, but the bowling ball sent him, like, far out. Like, or, like, straight out instead of on the side of the bowling ball. 40% bowling ball. That's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. But, I mean... Great stuff from Pokemon after such a dominant start by Tilde. Um, you know, bringing it all the way back and taking game one. See what Tilde has to say about that. I think a really big part that really affected Tilde's gameplay was that second stock where he was trying to recover with Firebird. 
and he went on a stage and kind of just... Uh, it was almost like an SD. He was at a not really high percentage in the first place, you know? So I think that also really aided a lot in, in, in Bookalong's, um, in his win, you know? So let's yeah. see if, 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 if he can do the same thing this game and close, up, close out this game for himself, for Pokemon. Yeah, absolutely. I will say probably the... Off, when Tilda was off the ledge, that was when it was Pokemon's game. Yeah. But great, great trap option right there for, from Pokemon. Having no, no option to recover for the ledge, go to a platform, you instantly get fared. Yeah, and I think that's probably what prompted this particular counter pick is, you know, those Town City platforms gonna be giving Tilde a little bit more um, a little bit more options when he's off stage, but as we've seen, Pokemon has been ready for it. Ooh, just barely missing that forward air. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Pokemon using dry ways, but Please. back air gonna be taking it. The way Pokemon was was like scooting around <laughs> till they has me losing my mind. Blue is also a goofy character. He's very goofy. It's a great neutral air. It's such a good get off me tool. And I, we've been seeing that uh, a little bit so far, in, especially in this game too. Pokemon using that neutral air to try and get his way out of the Falco... I mean, the Falco combo is obviously very hard to get out of, but uh, Tilde's reset situations... You can see this is just a dead even game right now. Another down air not quite getting Pokemon off stage, oh. but... I wasn't actually sure what Tilde reflected the there. The tree. I don't think you can reflect the tree actually growing. I didn't think that either, but I guess it happens. I'm very, very Someone who is more knowledgeable than Villager, let us know. Because uh, I, I know it's, it's, it's like a projectile can be reflected, but I feel like it's falling. But when it's growing, I guess... Yeah, There's I a think, hitbox somewhere? I Pokemon, I think what Tilde reflected was the water The, the water can, bucket, yeah. And that just sent Pokemon flying. Just like when he got down there into a bear for his second stock. Tilde still sitting pretty on his second, but getting put off stage again. Fire! Right, Pokemon not doing anything too fancy that time. Just looking for a forward tilt two frame. Right, great use of uh, the empty space under Town and City. Not getting hit by that tree. But so they losing his second stock. Oh, uh, abusing this tree! Oh my gosh, that that poor tree was like Luma for a second. I felt so bad for it for a little Someone bit. Someone called the Lorax. <laughs> that was good. All right, we have uh, for right now last lockdown situation for Alam. Uh, Seventy one percent on his name and only going up, and he's. He has to be really careful with these uh, these platform setups that Tilde is really gonna be shooting for those down to those down air into uh, black air combos that he's or aiming uh, he was going for earlier. It's gonna be really devious right here, up oh, even up to as well. I think that was a phantom hit on the side. Oh, the jab hit. lock right there. Jab lock only getting the forward tilt right there. Another up tilt combo, not doing it quite yet. Uh, the town and city counter pick coming into play there. A oh, great weight on the uh, Nair out of shield. So we're getting a clean up smash to Had get himself already. game two. Going over to a game three now. Whew. And let's see what our counter pick is going to be coming out from Pokemon this time. And we are we are banning uh, FD and we are banning Smashville. There's no way you're going to play the song. Oh. He's switching. We switching rule sets now. Could you imagine? Hazards on. Bum, bum, okay. But, um, <laughs> every every we're going to his music. Cal. No, we're going to Kalos. Okay. It's only. Building maybe having some controller. All right. This. <laughs> Man, I, I want to play Super Mario Bros. 3, bro. It's a banger game. That's a, literally the, the best. Free. I still have it. I thought, that's, that's the only reason I have a game of a game, a game Boy Advance. It's like I play that game every once in a while. But speaking of banger games, we're getting into this game 3 right now. Pokemon actually using the uh, the pocket right there 
to get the gyroid that's one of the you know, real classic villager uh, counterplays to characters that have reflectors. Because, I mean, you see gyroid come out, it's a pretty slow projectile. You just kind of want to reflect it. And, I mean, that just gives uh, villager uh, access to a second stronger gyroid. gyroid. Stronger, yeah, you're definitely right. And people, it, 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 when it comes to the pocket, there's no like, it just goes, you know? There's no like, we're really preparing for it when it comes out. So definitely really careful uh, for you to reflect gyroid. But dang! Totally is taking that, that so easily for himself. Only 76%? Nothing to nothing to, to, to kind of uh, be worried about for himself. Yeah, no, that was great awareness by Tilde uh, off stage. He was just in prime position for the, f uh, the Phantasm to work, and it did. Ooh, great. Well, that's a lot of shield pressure right there. Yeah, Ooh. that was such good shield pressure by Pokemon, but Tilde not budging in the slightest. Just thrown out the reflector, not wanting to deal with any of this gyroid nonsense. Just F smashing Pokemon for throwing out a gyro at that time. That's you know, a pretty committal option when your opponent is right in your face like Tilde was. And Tilde's pressure right now is just relentless. And it's clearly the best of really good stage sports uh, for Falco and Vanilla. They're getting a, having a lot of the airspace to do what Tilde likes to do that down or up to into those back airs. So. And also using that, that platform extension uh, is more going to be useful for Pokemon, just like in that scenario where we have that up, that, that, that attack from the, from the attack from the tree. Why are you back airing trees? You're taking 50 for it. But okay. you're also going to be taking Pokemon's second stock right now. All right, looking for another grab set up there with the gyro, but not finding it. And Tilde has just been... Tilde has been content to uh, really chill in the air a lot uh, in the past couple of interactions. And Pokemon just hasn't really been able to deal with it. Villager has really good uh, vertical, or not vertical, he has good uh, horizontal threat zones, but not quite so much vertical. Yeah, unlike Falco, which, you know, his has a lot of really vertical attacks, uh, such as, you know, that, that down air that's so useful for himself. So, had very... I mean, we we're talking all this, but like Pokemon kind of fight is, is bringing it right back to a pretty even game. Uh, hiding behind the tree as much as you can, because that tree is devastating. It has broken a lot of percentage on itself, so very strong if it, if it does land a hit. But now, tree is deactivated, it has run away, just like my grades. And, and now we have, again, even game. Pill pillar platform gonna be really scary for for uh, for Tilde if he is in that same scenario in the first game where he was stuck on that on the ledge, because he has nowhere to really run to from from bowling ball going straight down. Another down air, but Pokemon using that reversal neutral air to find himself some space. All right, one axe chop on the tree right now. Pokemon just just leaving it. Or Tilde on the other hand, not. Not interested in approaching this tree, but it is rotting away once again. But is interested in reflecting that gyroids, which absolutely he should do. <laughs> what? Okay. No, is, is number saying, are you kidding me, and walking out for me? Me, me too. Now, now Tilde. You know damn well that backer was definitely in, in the front. Okay. Now look at this day and night. Mm. <laughs> I don't. It didn't even look like Pokemon threw out a move. He just. Yeah, I, I wanted to circle something. It's just, it's just funny, like back air right here. Here, here's the foot. All right, are, are you on? Yes. Here's the foot. All right. <laughs> and where's the villager? The hitbox is maybe like up here, you know. Smash hitboxes are funny. And then villager. Can you point out the villager kids? Is over here. <laughs> now children. <laughs> thank you, I'm an artist. So now children, let's play. How <laughs> far is this distance right here? <laughs> From this red hitbox to this hurt box. Quite large. It is qu quite <laughs> long. <laughs> God, I love this pen. It just lets me draw. I, I, I can I can just like be at school, except can, this time it's not for a grade. <laughs> you get 